I'm Joe Federson. I'm a member of the Colville Confederated Tribes. My lineage is uh, Okanagan and Arrow Lakes people. Um, I, had, I had several starts to, to glass. Uh, I, I, I took a class in glass casting at the University of Wisconsin at Madison when I was uh, doing my graduate work there in the late 80s. And, uh, and then I didn't really do a whole lot until I was asked by the uh, NMAI to, to, to be one of the 12 artists that did what they called a continuum. The uh, 12 artists had, had solo shows at the, the George Gustav Hyde Center in New York at, at Battery Park. And uh, for my show, since I was a printmaker, I wanted to do a really large print. And uh, I made a, a print that's really similar to the, to the work we're doing today. But it was uh, 12 feet high and, and about 60 some feet across. This is a monumental work. And at that time I was making baskets, but they were only about this big, about maybe six inches high and about three or four inches across. So to, to stand up to that really huge print, I needed to make these larger. And, and these little baskets, even though they were only that big, they would take over a week to make by hand. And I, I just couldn't envision making like, like this big in any, time, any you know, amount of time to do, get it done quickly. So I asked my friend, uh, Cappy Thompson, how she did her work. And she said that uh, she worked with Preston. And uh, so the first work I did for the museum was a suite of uh, vessel shapes that were based on the, uh, the handmade baskets that I was making. Th those baskets, uh, they used the traditional form and the process, but I, I found it difficult to, to just copy designs. So I wanted to do designs that were more relevant to me. Um, well, those those come out of a lot of, of a variety of contexts, and um, there are you know traditional baskets have figurines that are really similar to that. They have uh, figurative elements that are put on the baskets, and again these are not copies of them, but they're uh, referencing that kind of a, a de depiction of kind of a human or a spirit person. Charmed is, is talking about contemporary Native life. And, and Charmed is about hybrid culture. I, I presented them with three ideas of maybe doing a charm bracelet that, that dealt with that, or uh, a wind chime, kind of whimsical wind chime, and, uh, or a petroglyph ball. And, and Charmed embodies all of those. 